This is video 2 for section 3.2, Simple Interest. In this video, we will solve problems involving simple interest. Example 4. Jocelyn wants to purchase a one wheel. As of June 2023, one wheel start at $1,050. Jocelyn has $800 she can put in a savings account. Together with that savings, Jocelyn makes $124.50 every month. Can she buy her one wheel after two months worth of paychecks if she uses those two paychecks and the savings account money? The first thing to decide here is which formula will I use uh, and then which numbers will I put where? This pr uh, problem has, has quite a few moving parts. Um, so first I see that Jocelyn is investing in a savings account that earns simple interest. So I will use this future value formula. And that's because I want to know how much does she have in her account in the future, uh, principal and interest. So she has $800 to invest. And the savings account she found earns 4.2% interest. So I'll change that to a decimal. And now she wants to know, after two months, can I buy my one wheel? So two months is two months out of the 12 uh, months in a year, or two twelfths of a year. So simplifying this, I would do the 0.042 times 2 divided by 12, right? Do this multiplication first, and then add 1. Um, that result is 1.007. And then second, I would do this multiplication. Uh, that gives $805.60. Um, now that is the amount in the account. So Jocelyn wants to know, can I purchase my one wheel uh, after two months if I use my paychecks and the future amount in the account? So now we would want to know, uh, what is two months worth of paychecks? So to determine that, uh, we know that Jocelyn makes uh, $124.50 every month. So I will simply take that $124.50, uh, multiply by two months. That means after two months worth of paychecks, she has made $249. Um, so then the total amount of money she will have after two months um, is that $805.60 in her account plus the $249 that she's made. Uh, so in total, she will have $1,054.60. So the answer is yes, she can purchase her one wheel after two months worth of paychecks. Uh, she will have $4.60 to spare. Example five. Janie plans to leave her $3,214.50 in the bank account until it reaches $3,500. Her bank account earns this much 4.2% simple interest. Uh, how long does Janie need to leave her savings in the account? Express your answer in years and months, round it up to the next whole month. Um, so I will use the formula again, A equals P times 1 plus RT. Uh, she wants to know, how long do I leave my money to reach $3,500? If currently it's $3,214.50, and her account earns 4.2% simple interest, and she wants to know, how long do I need to leave my money there? So the first thing I would do here is divide both sides by $3,214.50. So that gives on the left hand side here 1.08817. Uh, and then that equals 1 plus 0.042t. Um, next thing I would do is I would want to um, subtract 1 from each side, right? And then divide by this 0.042. So subtracting 1 from each side gives 0 
and that equals 0.042t. And then finally divide both sides by that 0.042. Uh, that gives 2.11467. Um, so this would not be two years, 1.147 months or something, right? But we need to convert this decimal into the number of months. Um, so this would be two years and uh, 0.11467 of a year, right? But now we need to determine how many months is that. Um, so to change that number of years into months, I will multiply by 12 months in one year. Uh, that will cancel these years, right? And that will leave uh, this answer in terms of number of months. So that comes out to approximately 1.4, or rounding up to the next um, nearest month is two months. So this comes out to two years, two months. Okay, this concludes example five and this concludes video two.